Hello everyone. Welcome to another installment of Aaron's Book Club. I have another book review to do and forgive the extra noise but even though it's what eight o'clock this morning it is stifling hot in the house so I have a fan going which is going to make it a little louder but oh well. Anyway the book review that I have to do today is Warriors the Sun Trail by Aaron Hunter and this I think takes place before there was any clans in the woods that the later books have have described and before I go any further um, I'm gonna tell you guys that this will not be spoiler free so if you have not read this book I will be spoiling it just to let you know while that's been said, I've also come to the conclusion and, and I'm slowly starting to accept that Aaron Hunter likes to kill cats. That's, that's just the way she is. Um, in the first, what, three pages of the book? Four pages of the book? A kitten starves to death. Then they start their journey and throughout the journey they have a female cat that's pregnant get carried off and killed by hawks then their leader gets hit by a car <laughs> then they get to where they need to go and the love interest of both the main characters gets pregnant hides in an abandoned building that then gets um, demolished and she dies along with two of her three kittens it's it's heartbreaking I sit there blubbering throughout most of her books but at the same time it's genius because you know that no character is safe and you know that even though you're reading about a main character she will not hesitate to kill whatever she needs to kill and I know she does it too to describe how the feral life of cats is extremely difficult and death is very common it makes you think about the real life feral cats in our society and the struggle that they have to go through and what they might be thinking when they're trying to get through our life it, it gets to the point now that if I ever see a dead cat on the road it brings tears to my eyes because again I'm a cat lover and and the empathy that she elicits by writing these books it kind of carries with you and this one I actually finished reading yesterday but I had to I don't know I had to let it veg a bit before I could do the review because I was so upset about it and and this bonus scene see it says here bonus scene inside that that she writes is about two cats one of which is killed by the main character so you already know that this cat's gonna die and yet she brings sympathy to it because it opens up with two kittens that have just watched their mother get killed by a badger and how they have to try to survive like she is brutal with her characters and I don't know what age group is reading these books but I know it's designed for somebody who's super younger than I am and I'm worried about them reading it um that being said that that being said the story is very well done um it's interesting because you you want to follow and sympathize with the main characters as you're reading through but they're traveling to a land that is populated by other cats and they kind of take over <laughs> they take over shop they they start uh, finding their own territories and one of them actually finds his own territory and keeps all other cats away I mean he joins cats to him that have been there but the ones that don't want to join he just kind of keeps away and at first I was like, well, yeah, damn right. This is this is where they want to live. This is their home. They've come so far. They, they should have their home. But at the same time, they, they've they gone to somebody else's territory and taken it over of their own. Like, that was an interesting concept. And and the, the main character that we follow, uh, Grey Wing, I think is his name. I think that's his name. We follow him and his group that stay together and they put family first above everything and then his brother goes off into the woods and he he puts clan first above everything even above family to the point where he's chasing out people who don't belong to his tribe 
And then when his little brother falls out of a tree hunting prey for the rest of the clan and breaks his leg, after a certain amount of time when he shows he isn't recovering the way he should be recovering, he kicks him out. And like not only kicks him out, has one of his, his cat followers um, help him to his, his brother's um, tribe of cats after fighting with his brother about the way of doing things he says well this one now no longer can can provide for the group of people he needs to go so he's weaker you can go you can take care of him and then he he chases he tries to chase his brother away from the territory by using one of his soldier cats and the brother kills the soldier cat fighting for himself and the brother is blamed for that like it's it's really interesting and then in the end when the first brother clear sky it's sad because he he finds a mate a second mate and gets her pregnant and gray wing had actually fallen in love with this mate i also and when the i think the mate's name is storm when she finds out that clear sky really isn't the leader that that she wants him to be and is really very cruel and and not understanding or sympathetic she decides to have her kittens um in this abandoned building which devastates clear sky but he does nothing to stop her and then gray wing who kind of takes over and and worries about the kittens and worries about feeding uh storm goes to that abandoned building and thank god he did because he was there at least to to rescue little thunder which was the only kitten that survived when that building was being demolished and and when he takes thunder this itty bitty tiny little kitten who is still drinking milk and brings him over to his brother's clan and says this is your son this is your son the only thing left from your mate here you go he was like no i don't want him i can't raise him you take him so the father then rejects his only son. <laughs> After losing his first queen to the hawk that takes her away and the second queen to being demolished after he was so hard-headed that he wouldn't soften, he then rejects his son to the point where Grey Wing, the other brother, has to take over the father role. It just... It's a very good book because it, make me, it makes me think. But it, it's a bit traumatizing at the same time yeah no i really enjoyed it i'm very excited to order the next one but whoever picks this book up be prepared bring tissue with you it is not an easy read and it's gotten to the point now i've read i read the handmaid's tale and this book and i'm kind of depressed like i've had two really sad hard reads and I'd really like a nice easy one I'd really like a fun one at this point so I will let you know I guess when I have another book read you guys have a great day